The University of Strathclyde is one of Scotland's biggest universities, with around 14,500 undergraduate students. The Department of Mechanical Engineering is one of the largest in the UK and has over 500 undergraduates. A few years ago, the department recognised that there were difficulties with motivation, attendance and retention among students in the early years of their course. As part of the strategy to address these problems, the department introduced classroom communication systems into large lectures, also known as Personal Response Systems, or PRS. The technology is used to enable active learning and teaching by questioning. Head of Department Jim Boyle has been responsible for its introduction. We use a number of different questioning techniques in the class, but the one that we tend to use the most is one called peer instruction. When we come to a point that we want to check the student's understanding, we put up a multiple choice question, or usually we call it a situation, and we ask the students just for them to give us their gut response, what do you think is the correct answer to this, and we poll the class. If it's a good question, what tends to come back is that the class are split, or divided on the, the question. And the name of the game then is to ask the students to defend their answers to their groups. So they then start a group-wide discussion. We then poll the class again. And typically what happens is that the class as a whole will start to move towards a correct analysis of what that question was. The lecturer then tells students the correct answer and often triggers class-wide discussion by asking individuals to explain the reasoning behind their responses. What we've seen happen, the benefits if you like, are that the students just come to class, they're motivated to come to class, the retention problem has been solved, they enjoy the class and we enjoy the class, they, they do well in diagnostics tests. Following this success with PRS, other departments have incorporated the system into undergraduate teaching. Michelle Dixon is head of French studies at Strathclyde. Students come from various backgrounds, they've got various qualifications, hires, advanced hires, A-levels, and we really do not know what they know or do not know, which is something we can discover with PRS. Interaction and participation are crucial to our language courses, and this is possible with PRS, irrespective of the number of students you may have in a class. Feedback from students has been very positive. Well, I'm doing French, Spanish and Italian and history and sociology, but French is the only class that uses the system. Um, it's much better than the other classes because it's totally anonymous, so you're more confident to answer questions and if you make mistakes it gives you the chance to learn. Research suggests that classroom communication systems can lead to radical changes in teaching in a traditional lecture room setting. A key learning principle behind the use of this technology is the idea of active engagement. The students have to solve a problem at the individual level and then actively discuss that with other students. And this is a powerful way of helping students to develop their understanding of difficult concepts. There's a, a six or maybe even ten pedagogically distinct applications. The technology, after all, is just like a pen in education. It doesn't have one function. It depends on what you use it for. The two I'm most impressed with are, on the one hand, using the technology to stimulate classroom discussion. That's Jim Boyle's main application. And the other is what I would call contingent teaching. And that's a method where they come into a session with a bank of diagnostic questions and use the student answers to those questions to home in on what that audience needs to spend time on now. So that gets away from a fixed script for a lecture and makes it contingent. That is dependent on what that audience needs that day. Our experience is just go for it. The system is cheap. It radically changes the whole dynamics of what happens in a typical large class. The main point of advice is just go and see a class where this is done and you'll be convinced that it works. My students really enjoy working with PRS. They like the fact it's interactive and gives them all a chance to participate in the class. Uh, they find it fun. But first and foremost, they state that it forces them to think and that is, after all, the basis of any learning. Mm -hmm.